The central bank said that the main purpose of authorizing foreign currencies as designated foreign currencies is to promote trade and investment relations between the two countries and would reduce the additional transaction costs associated with dual conversion, concurrently supporting the promotion of trade transactions through formal banking channels. With the trade between both countries rapidly growing following the Indo-Sri Lankan Free Trade Agreement, which came into force in March 2000, the CBSL said that the decision to authorize the Indian rupee was taken after communicating with the Reserve Bank of India, the Monetary Authority of India, and with the agreement of it being subject to any restrictions imposed by the Reserve Bank of India. As such, in August 2022, with the concurrence of the Reserve Bank of India, the Indian rupee was authorized by the CBSL as a designated foreign currency in Sri Lanka. However, the CBSL maintained that the legal tender in Sri Lanka for domestic payments and settlements will remain wholly the Sri Lankan rupee, and authorization of Indian rupees as a designated currency does not make it a legal tender in Sri Lanka for domestic payments or settlements.